Hey guys, Photoshop Pro help here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create an easy custom snow brush for your Christmas photos. So with this snow brush, uh, you can get a lot more out of it. You can direct the snow wherever you want to. So in our previous tutorial, I showed you how to make snow within your image. Now this is the snow brush, and you can just brush it on wherever you need it to be. So this is the effect that we are after. As we can see, loads of snow in the background and loads actually in front of us, like you would get if you walked out into a snowstorm. So this is what we're after, and it's really simple to do so. So I'm going to go and take things off and show you what the original image looked like. So we have our original image right here. This is quite nice. And the first things we're going to do is we're going to go darken it down and we're going to go and put in some uh, fog within this. So to do that, we're going to go down to the bottom right hand side, go to the adjustment layers and go to the levels. And we're going to go and play around with the output level. So the black one's going to come up to around about there. So we don't want too much fog and the white's going to come up to darken it. So around about they are just bring that down just a tad so around about 30 for the black and 155 for the white but it really depends on your image at the time play around with these and it's easy to get right so we're going to go and close that adjustment layer again go to photo filter we're going to go to the cooling filter 82 and the density to around about 25% and we're just going to hide that. We're going to go to our brushes. We're going to go and select a soft brush for this. And go and select a soft brush. We're going to go to our brush settings. Now if you can't find those, those will be in Windows and Brush. And so let's go to our brush settings. And in the brush shape, we're going to have a size of 15. We're going to have the roundness set to 50%, hardness 15%, and the spacing to 400%. So, obviously, pause the video and see if you can get all of these right. And then go to Shape Dynamics. We're going to have the size gear to 100%, control to off, minimum diameter 25%, and angle gear to 30%, control to off, and the roundness gear to zero, and the control to off again. So, pause the video again and just have a look at the settings and go over them. So, once we have got all of those settings inside, we're going to go to scattering. And the scatter, we're going to have to both axes clicked on. We're going to put the scatter to 1000%, control to off, count to 10, and the count jitter to 100%, and the control to off again. We're going to go down to transfer. And we want to put the opacity to 100%, control to off flow jitter to 100% and control to off again so once you have got those all the rest are should be faded out so you can't click them and then we're just going to go and hide that now the next thing we're going to do is make a new blank layer so bottom right hand side and it's going to be above the photo filter and above the levels and we're going to go and select 15 for this and we're going to go click once at the top on the left hand side and hold down shift on the keyboard and then click once at the bottom left hand side and as we can see the snow is coming down so this is what we want to do we have one straight line of snow we want to keep going back up to the top clicking once holding our shift and painting down the bottom so the snow is dropping downwards so obviously you can select any color snow that you want to I've gone for white for obvious reasons and we're just going to keep clicking until we have something like this if I go over to it like that so we have something like that so we've gone all the way across that kept going down the next thing we are going to do is we're going to go and bring up our brush size to around about 30 percent and we're just going to go and paint on some streaks downwards and keep going and as, as you can see, they're a lot bigger. And then the last thing we're going to do is we're going to go and bring up the size to 100%. And what this is going to show is the bits that are actually in our face 
when we're looking so if I just paint just dots don't need to do streaks on this like that and that's pretty much the effect done so you can have a lot of fun with this and you can apply it to a lot of images so apart from that go and have loads and loads of fun with this and go and test it out on all your photos and let me know how it goes so apart from that please comment rate and subscribe go check out the website facebook and um, google plus if you want to support me go check out the brand new tops that we have on offer all the new designs um, the link will be in the preview after the video so go check those out guys and until next time i'll see you then bye for now